This is the erosion facility uh, which belongs to the Department of Geography. Um, it's basically a six and a half metre long slope uh, with two and a half metres across the slope. It's um, tiltable fully from zero degrees up to 15 degrees so we can look at very high angle slopes that might be characteristic of upland areas. What we have here is a um, detailed rainfall simulation facility. We have two sets of nozzles which provide a very controlled rainfall input onto the surface so we can rain from anything up from 20 millimetres an hour which is a, a sort of heavy uh, UK shower all the way up to something like 160 millimetres per hour or more which is a, a very heavy thunderstorm and thus also have control of characteristics of the, the individual raindrops and being able to reproduce those raindrops and the energy that they have as they impact the surface is very important in getting a realistic representation of the erosion process in a laboratory setting. The current project that's work being worked on in the laboratory at the moment is uh, the Dynamics of Runoff and Erosion Modelling uh, project which is all about developing new erosion models and using state-of-the-art high-speed uh, photography to characterise the dynamics of those erosion processes at the same time as uh, the rainfall conditions are changing and the surface flow conditions are changing and that's the first time that those dynamic interactions have, have been able to be uh, investigated and so one of the things that, that we do is to use the information and the understanding that we get from working at relatively small scales in a laboratory setting and use both computer models and field experiments and field monitoring to work those back up into landscape scales and look at the ways different parts of, of the landscape are linked together both in terms of spatial linkages but also in terms of the way different elements of hill slopes link together with different parts of ecosystems and how those interrelationships affect um, the processes that, that go on. It's one of the, the very few facilities that are available in, in the UK for doing that. And for example, one project that we have been looking at in collaboration with civil engineering and landscape in Sheffield is to work on green roofs and to use the rainfall simulator to be able to test the hydrological behaviour and the characteristics uh, of those, those surfaces so that we can in, improve not only uh, sort of agricultural settings as we tend to work on but also work in, in, in urban environments also.